this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross with a very angry kitty. Whoa! That was a pretty weak whoa, huh? Reminds me of a quote on a magic card, King Cheetah. If you and a friend are being chased by a King Cheetah, you have but one hope. Trip your friend. <laughs> Oh, the quotes on Magic the Gathering cards. They were so good back in the day. Well, you're in a fog! What do you think? You were the one who went in here. Oh! Well, there's the real ghost ship. I'd make some Pirates of the Caribbean jokes here, but uh, I haven't seen Pirates of the Caribbean, so I, I can't help you, viewers. Sorry. This game's pretty dark and serious, you know? It's hard for me to make fun of it. I don't know, but... Whoa! You got skeleton pirates to deal with now. Oh, and some other guys, huh? Okay. Well, let's take them out. We got deadbeats and crossbones to deal with. So, uh, yeah, first thing that I want to do is actually get Eagle Eye on Surge. I think he'll be able to take out those deadbeats with, uh a single fierce attack, or pretty close. Yeah, for some reason, my stats, uh, a few of you guys were noticing, my stats are pretty bad in this uh, run through. I mean, it's just a pure coincidence. That's just the way it is. I mean, Surge is way down on HP, and Neo feels pretty down there too. I, mean, I don't know what happened. I just, I guess I just didn't get lucky. Didn't start with the right uh, random stats. Oh, that better not be like Final Fantasy V. Oh, okay, okay. Sword Dance isn't nearly uh, that powerful in this game, apparently. But man. And I think in this area, enemies start uh, dropping iron. Uh, let's use a fierce attack to get some element power for healing after battle. There we go. Yay! I don't recall running into enemies that actually dropped copper. I think there were a few in Viper Manor, but not much. But anyway, yeah, yeah, now we're starting to actually randomly get iron. This is how the game gives you the base materials. See, when, whenever you get to a certain area, monsters start dropping the appropriate mats that you need to upgrade your weapons. So, there you go. And uh, you can use this save point if you want to, but I'll just take a moment to pause. All right, well, let's just leave our cell. I'm sure the pirates won't mind. Let's take a look around. Oh, he's fighting, uh, well, they're fighting each other, so we'll just leave them alone. Remember to check the note on this door, viewers. If you do not check that, I don't think you'll be able to get the key for that door. And you'll go all the way through the dungeon, and then you'll be like, oh no, we can't get the key. You'll have to come all the way back, then go all the way up there again, so. At least I think that's what happens, but, uh... Ah, oh, well, thanks for your concern. Yeah, I, some people said they didn't like Glenn for his dialogue. I like him. I mean, he adds a little bit because he's, you know, with the dragoons and everything like that, you know? So, I, I like his character. I, I don't know. That's... Maybe it's just me. Okay, I suppose we can save this pirate. You don't have to save all the pirates in this area. Yeah, they, they don't even appreciate it. But, uh, it's worth the gold because... After this area, there's a lot of elements that I want to buy here. Or not here, but, uh, well, somewhere else, so. Okay, fine. Screw you. They sleep on blankets and a pillow. That's it? Wow. Okay, let's save the pirate. Wow, that photon beam is pretty good on Glenn there. <laughs> yeah, right. You seem to be doing such a great job fighting it. Oh, yeah, that was just another wraith. Oh, we can't get in there. Ever, I don't think. I think the wraiths around here are slightly stronger than the ones we fought before. Not much, though. You might as well just consider them the same, but I don't think they're exactly the same as the ones we fought earlier in the game. You know, the problem with having Glenn around is that if he has any leftover element power, and he still has some stamina, 
I can't use dash and slash for search. Because, uh, well, it'll say X strike there. You don't have the option of using it, so I gotta waste some stamina with Glenn to use my dash and slash. It's kind of annoying because all the enemies here are black elemental. Huh, we can't get through that fire. Maybe if we go over here. Not that fire ever bothered me. I can live through fire. Or is it? Well, and wait a minute. I thought you were wounded. You were dying on the ground there. Now you're just standing up? Oh, okay. Well, let's go through this little... They have vents on ships? I mean, like, back then? Well, yeah, I mean, what would you need a vent like that for? I mean, that you just open a window to get some air. I don't know. Well, we're getting plenty of iron now. Right when we don't need it. You're being attacked by a ghost ship, can't you tell? We've got to find that key. Not the cheese, the keys. Do you have the key? Uh, don't worry about that fire behind you. I'm sure it's not going to uh, burn the ship down. We could just, like, knock the door down. Ah, there we go. Uh, yeah, I would like the key. All right. Now, oh, we can't get through here, huh? That's how you would have normally gotten down here, but, uh, hmm. Okay, so we gotta make our way downstairs and up to the deck from the outside, so I'll just meet you down there, then, off screen. Okay, we've made it back up here. The key works automatically. Man, these wraiths keep on coming out of nowhere. Stop scaring me like that. Well, Game? Oh, I got some pretty nice cannons here. If only I could get to that chest somehow. Hmm. Oh, hey, there's a pirate out here. How did he get out of here? Who is Davy Jones, anyway? I mean, pirates keep on talking about Davy Jones and his locker or something like that. But, yeah, we made it out here. Sure, I'll try your vitamin drink. Now with preposterous amounts of testosterone. Preposterone. Try all new flavors, like poison. Hmm. Ingredients include Kefka. Huh. Well, there's a lot of uh, enemies that pop out of nowhere, so I'll just take care of all of them off screen and uh, then I'll meet you back up here. Yeah, there's some more wraiths that come out of each of these cannon window things, whatever. And then there's some more of those walking skull heads around here. They kind of remind me of those little boxy droids, tiny boxy droids in uh, the Death Star, you know, those. Little things that kept on wandering around, keeping an eye on everything. And that gives me an idea. When I have my own Death Star for my kingdom, we will not have tiny little droids wandering around. We will have little skulls with legs walking around to scare the crap out of people. Maybe Skeleton Omex. <laughs> That's a scary thought. Anyway, if you haven't noticed, I took care of all the enemies in here off-screen, so that way I wouldn't have to uh, waste your time with that. And if you recognize this little critter, this guy is Pip! He escaped, or he or she escaped, I don't know what gender Pip is. Uh, but yeah, he said earlier he wanted to see the sea. Kind of looks like a Pokemon, I guess, but, huh. And he has a wisp, or lisp. <laughs> Uh, on him. I guess that's his accent, but sure, why not? Let's take him along. Now, the interesting thing about Pip is that his element and text develop depending on what elements he uses. Uh, it's, uh, I don't think it's worth it. It just takes way too much effort to develop Pip. Then again, I've never tried, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there's a good fact on Game Facts that talks about Pip and his element grid and elements and all that stuff. If you really want to learn about it, look at it there. I'm not interested in uh, Pip that much. Oh, no guard on this chest. All right. That photon beam might actually be useful. I might think about equipping it. And here's a save point before the boss. Uh, at this point, it would be a good idea to make my fourth save file. Now, if I haven't mentioned it earlier, let's make one right here. I'm just doing this one just for, I think, for an ending uh, in a New Game Plus, if I recall correctly. But uh, in any case, we should have four save files now. This is just my current save file, which I haven't used 
since oh, a few weeks ago, but we got one with Pierre so far. One, uh, I just made one at Viper Manor with Guile's Path just in case I need to go back or do something or research or whatever. Got one with Nikki and Razley in it from the other path that I did. And now we have one on the ghost ship to help out with getting an ending, I think, or whatever it is, so. Okay, so that's all the save files we need. And what ghastly foe waits us above deck? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.